It's not bad. It's just this freaking abstract work sucks. There's no, there's nothing to talk about. It's just feelings and color. I mean, this isn't an appreciation show. It's a no. critique show. It's horrible. I'm gonna try and do it anyway, but I'm we... not happy about it. Mm -hmm. Did you study the terminology that I emailed you? The email. the... No. I looked at. No, it. You, no, you didn't get the email. No, I did get the email, and I did not study it because honestly, it was boring as hell. If we're gonna have a YouTube show, you have to be able to talk with chops about the different aspects of the artwork. I can do. I I, I did fine before. I'll do fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you care? Do you I, want to learn? I want to be on YouTube. You need to watch the damn shows that you need to do. Now you shouldn't be doing the show, you should be watching the damn show. All right, get ready. We don't have more time. Okay. It's time to party. Well, I kind of like this first one, right? With the yeah, well, let me party get started on it, because that's actually a good point. All right, uh, welcome to Cats, episode three. Cats is a anagram for Contemporary Art Talk Show. You heard it from Jay Myers. And I'm a co-host with Chris Kerr. All right, let's get started. First up, we have Rebecca Morris from the Midwest. I want to say she's from Chicago. I remember when I was in art school a couple of years back, um, she was pretty hot, and I've been told she's still hot. I no, no. I'm married, I cannot say that, but I actually have never seen her, so I don't even good. know. Uh, I have not I heard her, of her either. Her work her artwork. But I do believe that she is a Midwestern artist, but I had, this is the first time I've ever okay. seen her work. Anyway, let's get started. 67 by 65 inches, American uh, inches, oil on canvas, untitled. But it's not all oil on canvas because it looks like there's brick and it looks like it's almost photo perfect, photo, photo real. Good point. That's because it's, this is this side, no, no, this side it's is untitled. Reverse, it's probably this, this side, side untitled. Untitled number 09-13, 2013, installation view Oops. of Party Cut. So I think, um, as you were alluding to, the entire installation is called Party Cut. I wanna just Party Cut to the chase and say, this is not a party, not what we do in the Midwest. When we party, we raise um, H-E-L-L, and we drink a lot. H-E double hockey sticks. We come Texas. Sorry, another beer. Uh, party cut. Kind of like what they called me in college. They cut me from the party. Um, yeah. Well, that's because Never invited. you were always yep, 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 and then you weren't doing the beer bomb um, in the keg stands. Okay. I One thing I want to say about critique. this is right here you see that with the grid, she's alluding to the bricks. The bricks, as we know, and the wall are about three inches by six inches and vary in color. And I, it's safe to say that the bricks on the wall are much more interesting than what's happening on the canvas. Yeah, but now is it 65 by 67? Is that the actual room that it's in? Or the pieces? Because when I'm looking at it, it's a room, but it's called, it's, it's, you have it as 65 by 67. No, I can safely say that it would be against code to build a room with a 67 inch height because I'm actually 76 inches and I'm only six foot four and I wouldn't even be able to walk in the room. Well, I maybe could walk in the room or five foot, I don't know, no. 10. Okay, moving on. I, we're done with Rebecca yeah. Morris. In summary, um, Rebecca, thank you for making our work, but not thank you for showing it to us because we were not impressed. It's actually got a really high snooze factor. And, Although I like um, the fact that there's two images for one for each eyeball. So when you're looking at it, both eyes are busy, and I like that. That's good. It keeps you your right. mind going. One more thing: it's kind left of like brain, right brain, ping pong or tennis. There's two different things going on, and it's like back forth, back forth. And what I get is really good nap out of it. So again, thank you for the nap, and I'm moving on to the next female. Or I forgot to say, they're all female artists today. Um, and the next up is Rory Dean, 2012, Which? inspired by Michael Stipe. This, I honestly don't think is a female because it says, as you can see the text here, I painted this as a woman, saying that I painted this as a woman, but if she was a woman, you wouldn't have to say I painted this as a woman, right, you could well, say I painted this. One thing you should know is that Jay just birthed another child, um, and so he has two children, and he's reading his name book, most popular names in the world, um, all the time. So he's obsessed with trying to figure out what's a good 
boy's name or what's a girl, good girl's name. I have a lot on my mind. I do a lot. I have looked okay. Beer drinking and partying. Yeah, I read the girl name writing. book. What was that? Two and a half years ago. And, I didn't haven't read it in a long time. I'm not obsessed with girl and boy names. I'm just saying that this. I'm. I yes, I did read a boy's name book. Whatever I'm when around, we're selecting like, our son's hey, name. Hey, do you think Rory sounds like a man or a woman? Do you think I haven't? No, I haven't ever actually said anything about Aloysius, Rory. That's not even. Do you think an option if I need because... my child Aloysius that they're going to know that Aloysius is a man? No, I, I didn't. We didn't even. We didn't even go over Aloysius. Okay. Anyway, that's not um, even, that wasn't one of the names. Let's get, let's, let's I do get like okay. I do okay. like that this is let's a text based piece. But you know what? This is still abstract, and there's still no image, and there is no landscape. There's nothing to look at. It's just text. So let's yeah, let's make text different colors. And let's really keep that that sounds amazing. Man or woman, That's I not, think Miss Rory is a hero. I think this is Miss Rory strong, missed it with this one. I think this is a strong, powerful piece of artwork. It is that not. tells a story in a clear, concise sentence. It's got the suffer it's got the woman's suffrage. I painted this movement. as a woman. That's a complete sentence. Well, it's got the woman's suffrage movement going on in the background with the hot orange red. And also, what are you saying by saying I painted this as a woman? Are you saying that you should like this because a woman? I mean, yeah. I don't. Course. I think the way they worded that is actually kind of insulting. Mm. I painted this as a woman. What is that supposed to say? My mom's a woman. My girlfriend's a woman. Yeah. Well, I, I have, love my mom. I love my girlfriend. I love my mom. And I love this is painted my by wife. a woman. Therefore, I love it. I love women. Okay. I love well, not all women, but I love. The woman I'm with and the woman that birthed yeah, me. Yeah, well, let's make sure you clear that out. Okay, well, I did. Okay. So the red background looks like I'm, I've am i been living through hell because there's men out there who have their talk shows on YouTube that talk smack about women, and I'm not one of those I'm not some people. Yeah, well, neither I'm am I. You know, I'm not. Just If you're a woman and you're watching this, I love you, but Jay might tell you differently because no. it sounds like he has no. problems with women being No, artists. that's not true. I'm just, no, I was just saying that this one doesn't, okay. I, okay. I was saying that this one, okay, okay. Uh, I painted this as a woman is the text, and I'm saying that if you're a woman, do you have to say I painted this as a woman? Are you just saying that so people automatically make some kind of assumption with? Okay, I'm not saying I'm making some. Okay, let me summarize. Yeah. Uh, we like this piece. I think we both like no, it. No, not safe to say. I. The one thing I, I do have like a bit of a problem with, it says, I painted this as a woman, however, it appears to be um, felt that's been glued on the canvas, so it's a bit of a lie, um, but I'm going to let that slide right. and say... They didn't paint it, and also... Is Rebecca that... Morris, thumbs down, Rory Dean, thumbs up, and we're going to move to the next one. Okay. Mary Heilman, I believe Mary is from... Mary She's also probably... could be a boy's name, because Mary... I had a grandfather named Miriam, and that was, I guess, typical. Oh, you know, my right. friend is from Marysville, Michigan. Maybe they know each other. Maybe. Um, okay, this is could Mary be Mary Heilman. Heilman is in Heilman's old style beer, fully croisoned, uh, great. A lot of beer. Spelled different. I, I think, think it's um, two L's. I'm not sure. I don't know. No, she is H E I L. I know hers is, but I'm saying the old style thing. Heilman. Um, it directly translates to Mary Hell with Men, um, Heilman, surfing on acid 2005. This is great. Obvious pun on the hot dog, the all American classic. Or the chili dog. Right. So it's not really an abstract painting, so let's get that out of the way. Really it is great. abstract because it's not like you don't see the texture of the chili, you don't see the texture of the hot dog, you don't see the texture of the bread. Nope. It's just vague images of no that's true actually because if it was chicago dog you would see the green relish onions and mustard uh never ketchup but in, anyway, sometimes ketchup actually we I, can I agree know. that it's not an abstract painting because it, it is an abstract chicago. painting what else um it references is in the black you can see um there's the ominous <sighs> uh landscape excuse scene me, with the evergreen trees <sighs> oops, excuse so, me Sorry. Are you done? Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe you should cut. Maybe you should cut yourself off from the beer. Well, I'm you got work to do. No, I'm alright. You got work to do. I know. I'm on it. Okay, so this one is abstract actually, and it isn't that good. So we've got three stinkers in my book. We've got one, two, three stinkers. Not because of female. It's not because of it's number one. You don't know art terminology. What is overlap? What yeah. is texture? Well, you don't have. What okay. is a contour line? What is tension? Tension well, is something giving that's us this, is without tension. slack. There's tension. Yeah, without she's slack. The, There's no slack in the image. She's taking the composition all the way tense. out to the sides of the canvas. She's probably wrapped that canvas as tight as a 
something and painted on it with all her heart and she's bringing the image out to create a lot of tension. Yeah, well, there's a lot of tension right here because I... No, you don't know what you're talking about. In the beginning, you didn't even know the terminology. You didn't well, study. You you're you don't a, have to know the terminology to appreciate art. You're a filmmaker. You you're not to, an artist. Film I, oh, okay. Art. All right. Art is squish a paint around. Oh, right. Only Let's paint. Get okay. Pattern. Get some paint squeezed out of the tube and squish it around with a sable brush yeah, and, and I water. Painted, I painted my room. If it's not sable, it's maybe a horse I hair painted brush. My I painted my room. I painted the living room. Oil painted paint. the baby's room. If you're using a latex paint, paint, you might even use like a foam roller. An eggshell flat. Yeah. I do a lot of paint terminology. This is episode three of Cats. We're going to agree to disagree. And we want to thank our artists, Rebecca Morris. Disagree to disagree. I didn't say that. Rory anything. Dean. I didn't agree And to Mary you Heilman. Three powerful women artists who, two of them, in my opinion, make Maybe powerful work women, but not necessarily powerful artists. One woman who, um, although is a great woman, is not a great artist, in my opinion. Itchy dude. Stay away from it. Stay away. Don't touch the. Sorry, put it real close to me. Don't touch the fern. I brought that from home. I rode it on my bike. I rode it on the metro train. I walked it here. Respect the fern.